Welcome back. Happening in Detroit, it is one of the most highly anticipated events of the entire year. Anime lovers, this one's for you. Yomacon is returning to downtown Detroit, and here to tell us all about it is Morgan Collin. We're so glad to have you here with us. It's nice to have you. And I absolutely love what you've worn to the studio today. That Pac-Man hat is classic. You said you had it custom made. Yep, uh, that's custom made. I have a lot of other accessories that were made just for the outfit. Uh, it's great, you know, it's... But it's fantastic. Okay, so tell us about the event. It's all happening in downtown Detroit this weekend. That's correct. Uh, Give this us is, an overview. So this year's going to be our first year being exclusively over at the convention center. Uh, we have lots of great programming coming along. We run <clears throat> Thursday through Sunday, and all of our programming on Thursday is free to the public. So for folks <clears throat> who don't know, what is Yomacon? So Yomacon is a festival of Japanese animation, video games, and pop culture. Uh, what we have here is a all immersive uh, event that literally goes until about like 2 a.m. Any given day, oh. we have celebrities coming over. So you may not know the faces, but you'll recognize the voices as we have so many amazing voice actors. We actually even have guests coming out that are actually virtual. They're not physical at all. Oh, okay. And so they're actually, they're VTubers. They all like interact online in real time. And on top of this, we also have special Power Ranger guests coming out to celebrate the 30th anniversary of Power Rangers. Very neat, and it's happening November 2nd through November 5th. How does that work? How does that weekend work? Walk like, us through it. All right, so again, it's like uh, people can come in uh, over into the exhibit halls. We have our registration areas. People are able to buy their tickets online. And at the same time, we have, it's like, uh, it's like we have everything from an exhibit hall. We have artists and vendors that are coming from all across the U.S. bringing in original artwork as well as merchandise from Japan and beyond. We have programming of all sorts. We even are hosting the qualifiers for several international costume competitions. So we will actually be sending the U.S. representatives over to other countries to represent. So you're going to have a jam-packed weekend, it sounds like, lots of events. So for folks who don't understand what anime is all about, how do you define it? How do you explain it to them? It's like, well, Japanese animation in and of itself is such a unique, it's like media overall, because it's not just about the different style in the animation, it's that you have a more involved, you know, like story. You have characters that evolve. You see actual interactions as opposed to uh, like where we grew up like just your random like Tom and Jerry where it's just the you know random things doesn't back matter. Back in the day back in the stone ages right? <laughs> yeah, Flintstones. Yeah. So, yeah. But uh, no honestly it's just there's so many dynamic stories and once again like the animation quality is just so much higher than anything that we have here. Fantastic. Well, it sounds like you've got a great lineup in store. And again, that's coming up November 2nd through the 5th. We're going to show that information again. It's a four day long anime convention. And it is, it looks like tickets are still available at yumacon.com. Fantastic. And it's happening at Huntington Bank. We appreciate you stopping by. All right. Thank you so much. Thank